What's up? In this video, I'm going to be showcasing the Tsunami Bloodline in Shindle Life Roblox. Uh, but let's get into it. <laughs> Alright, so the Tsunami Bloodline actually has three moves. It maxes out at level 500, alright? And it actually has a 1 in, I believe, 1 in 80 Bloodline, alright? So it's very similar to the Smoke, the, uh, you know, the Smoke, the Blood, Bloodlines, alright? They all are in 1 in 80s. Um, so, you know, it is a mediocre bloodline in general, alright, I can't lie to you, but some of the moves are really, really nice, and I think you should stick around to watch them. Uh, but yeah, let's get into uh, reviewing these three moves here. Alright, so the first move is the Tsunami Style Wave Rider, alright? It requires 23k chi, has a cooldown of 22 seconds, uh, and basically you just kind of ride a wave, it's pretty cool. Uh, the second move is the Tsunami Style Wave Emergence, alright? So basically you fire waves in all directions, dealing decent damage. Uh, it requires 23k chi, has a cooldown of 26 seconds, uh, and is overall a good move, alright? It's a nice, nice, solid move. Uh, and the final move is the Tsunami Style Shark Imprisonment, alright? This basically fires a big, like, I guess, circle out, uh, imprisoning people within it, uh, you know, and filling it with sharks. It requires 26k chi, has a cooldown of 30 seconds, uh, and is a pretty solid final move, alright? It unlocks, unlocks level 480, or Bloodline level 480, um... But yeah, let's remove or review all these moves in depth. Before we do so, actually, these moves are equipable in your element slots. So you can just, you know, equip them in your element slots if you choose to. Which is nice, especially considering, you know, if you got multiple bloodlines, this would be great for, you know, moving bloodlines around. Um, but yeah, let's get into actually showing these moves off or showcasing them. Alright, so the first move, the Tsunami Style Wave Rider, alright? If we pop this move, and we should move back a little bit because you do actually ride a wave. Uh, you can pop it like so, basically ride a wave around, dealing 2k damage per hit, uh, and then leaving this kind of watery substance that also does a little bit of damage. Um, not the greatest damage move, right? I can't lie to you. However, it is good for getting away or chasing after an opponent, or finishing up a little bit of a combo, alright? If you need to get a little closer, you pop the Tsunami style Wave Rider, right? You get closer, and then you finish your combo up. Uh, it's a pretty solid move, alright? Here it is one more time. Uh, as you can see, you can kind of spam it over someone, dealing maybe 20k to 10k damage. Um, but overall, not the greatest move, alright? It does provide you some mobility, but, you know, not a great move. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the second move, the Tsunami Style Wave Emergence. 3, 2, 1. Alright, so the second move actually requires 23k chi. Uh, and we need to kind of get closer to our opponent here. This is good if you've got a big kind of dungeon, dungeon assault going on and you need to hit a bunch of people at once, alright? You can pop it like so, you'll fire out those waves dealing 18k damage per hit, uh, and basically fire out in all directions, alright? Leaving this puddle behind, um, you know, it's great for multiple targets, again, not so great for just one person. Uh, and I've noticed that this bloodline is not so great for just one person, and much better for AoE type stuff, so if you've got any big AoE type things going on, you should definitely use this for it. Alright, the final move though is the Tsunami Style Shark Imprisonment, alright? So we do need to get a little closer to use this move, uh, and we just can pop it like so, alright? As you can see when I pop it, you get that big shark imprisonment, uh, right about now, alright? Uh, and you can see those sharks kind of flying around, dealing damage everywhere, uh, pretty cool. And people can't actually move when they're in here, so you can kind of combo them up, do what you need to do, alright? Finish some combos. Uh, you could pair this with the first move, right? You can pop the Shark Imprisonment, uh, and then pop this first move here, um, which would be a pretty nice combo, alright? Um, the Imprisonment does actually require around 26k Chi, and has a slightly longer cooldown than the majority of these moves, right? Uh, it actually requires a cooldown of 30 seconds. Uh, here it is again, alright? You pop the Shark Imprisonment, uh, and then you could pop, like, this move, say. Uh, really, really anything. You can do whatever you want to these guys when they're in here. They're stuck. They can't move. Uh, it basically stops you from moving. You keep the combo going with this. Uh, and overall, it's a decent bloodline, especially for keeping combos going. However, it's not great for 1v1 player, player versus player type stuff, uh, as well as kind of, you know, just uh, your typical fight. Um, however, this is pretty good for AoE stuff as well. So if you have any big AoE stuff, as I said earlier, use this for it. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, just leave a like and subscribe. Uh, without further ado, I'll see you later. So, have a nice day, and bye.